thank you terence uh, for such a kind introduction uh, uh, let's just hello everyone let's just start the presentation with a short introduction of my society uh, special animals and veterinary emergency relief society savers is a student based animal welfare society uh, working under the flagship of uh, uvs that is university of veterinary and animal sciences pakistan Savers is working for animal welfare and community since 2002, uh, which includes our free vaccination camps, free deworming and treatment camps, and animal welfare and animal rights awareness seminars. One of which component is rabies, uh, and I would like to uh, share that uh, we are also the winner of uh, World Rabies Day Award in the year 2020, for which I am very thankful to GARC, that is Global Alliance for Rabies Control, for acknowledging our efforts towards global rabies prevention. Uh, this is the certificate uh, that we uh, achieved uh, after the winning of the World Rabies Day Award. Let's just talk about our working regarding rabies. Uh, we celebrate World Rabies Day uh, by uh, organizing awareness walks, uh, different uh, seminars, uh, which provides awareness uh, for the rabies prevention strategies, and uh, moreover, we uh, provide and. Uh, organize uh, different free rabies vaccination camps at our institute that is UVS. We do online sessions and competitions which actually uh, attract uh, the non-technical persons uh, which do not know much about the rabies but they do uh, part uh, take part in the competitions and uh, then they do research about the rabies and then they uh, get to know about rabies prevention strategies and uh, vaccination campaigns etc. We organize field visits for community awareness in the localities. Uh, we uh, engage the social media accounts for promoting awareness. Uh, next but not the least, uh, we have uh, uh, completed all the GARs educational courses. Actually, my whole team has completed uh, Global Alliance for Rabies Control Educational Platform courses, uh, which have helped uh, us all uh, in providing awareness in the community. Uh, last but not the least, uh, there's, uh, we are uh, going to become the part of a government dog population control program in future, uh, for which I will uh, have a detail in the last. Okay. So next, uh, I would like to share the World Rabies Day celebrations of uh, my society. Uh, I have uh, actually, Savers not only uh, celebrate World Rabies Day on only September 28th, but actually, uh, Saver celebrate the whole month of September as Rabies Awareness Month. Uh, in our uh, institute, we provide and uh, organize Rabies Awareness Walks regularly on the September month. Uh, next, uh, we uh, organize different Rabies Awareness Seminars. In these seminars, we actually uh, invite our veterinarians and professionals, public health professionals, which uh, uh, join us and do capacity building of the students uh, at the seminar. This capacity building actually helps the students to provide awareness uh, in, the, in their own localities. Uh, these are some of the uh, claims of our vaccination campaigns. In the vaccination campaigns, uh, our students passionately participate uh, with the professionals uh, and they learn how to vaccinate uh, the dogs and cats about rabies and then they also get hands-on training about it. This uh, society is actually uh, a student-based society. So we do annual rabies vaccination in month of September. As I said earlier, we uh, do uh, the, uh, the celebration of uh, rabies day in the whole month of September. The, here is a glimpse of vaccination campaigns. Next, uh, I would like to talk about the Global Alliance for Rabies Control Education Platform courses. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, my whole team has completed all the Global Alliance for Rabies Control courses. Uh, these courses then help uh, my students and my colleagues in providing awareness in the underdeveloped areas of Pakistan, uh, where we, uh, where, uh, where we, uh, you know, uh, provide awareness through a one-day uh, activity. Uh, this one day activity actually provides awareness to the locals of the community where the number of dog bite cases are much high and they do not know about uh, the rabies prevention strategies. Here is a glimpse of uh, GRC education courses which my uh, teammates have done. 
the here is a glimpse of field visits for community awareness. Uh, in this uh, community awareness and the seminars we organize, actually we focus on two major things. Uh, the two major things are uh, if how you can prevent a dog bite, number one, and number two, uh, if you get a dog bite, then how you can uh, deal with it, how you can get the post exposure therapy about wound washing, rabies vaccine, uh, rabies immunoglobulins as a post exposure therapy. Here is a glimpse of uh, the field visits we do uh, as a one day activity. Uh, this is our social media campaigns. Uh, actually, we uh, engage over social media with all over uh, seminars and walks and babies vaccination campaigns. Uh, this helps us uh, reach more people uh, with which we cannot interact physically. And this has, uh, has got a great overwhelming, overwhelming effect in this manner. And uh, here is a glimpse of social media campaigns we do. Here you can see uh, we have uh, a poster of vaccination importance, its transmission and risk factors, post exposure prophylaxis. Here is a uh, global lines for rabies control forces promotion. So we do with uh, all the uh, relevant materials about rabies, its issues, its prevention strategies, uh, its uh, risk, risk factors, transmission factors, everything. Talking about the online sessions and competitions, uh, we organize online sessions and webinar with our uh, worthy professors uh, on different topics like uh, current status of Pakistan, uh, current status of rabies in Pakistan and its prevention and control. And moreover, uh, we organize competitions uh, like a blog writing competition. Uh, in the last year, we uh, organized a blog writing competition about rabies and we declared it as our law competition like it is actually rabies blog writing competition and our law competition is actually depicting that uh, rabies uh, rabies is an issue and you have to write about its prevention strategies and uh, its introduction transmission and uh, this uh, and rabies collaborate vaccinate these are all things now, coming towards the preparation for World Rabies Day 2021, uh, we have uh, planned outreach activities in the outskirts of Lahore for community awareness. And moreover, we have a plan of three days vaccination camp at Penn Center UES. Uh, these activities are actually in a plan, uh, but as of Friday, I, uh, everything is now uh, stopped due to the aggressive lockdown due to increase in number of cases of COVID-19 again. Uh, but we are planning to execute these activities as the situation gets better. Despite this, over uh, social media is active and is our main resource in this manner. Last but not the least, uh, I would like to share that we are becoming the part of government dog population control program in future. Uh, and with, for this, we are in touch with the local government and Punjab local government, uh, in which uh, they are uh, utilizing the policy of trap, neuter, vaccinate, and rehabilitate. Uh, this rehabilitate is a new term which is. Uh, uh, actually defined by our uh, worthy professor, Dr. Masood Rabbani, uh, who actually says that we should not only release, but we actually had to rehabilitate the dog, which we vaccinate and then neuter. Okay, uh, so uh, working, Savers is working under the motto that is helping those who cannot even say the word help. Uh, so you can contact us uh, through our social media accounts and you can check out our activities through this. So uh, thank you so much for uh, your time and uh, your kind uh, observation and listening. Thank you.